You're welcome once again to the continuation of our tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add questions to our quiz. When we open our quiz like this, we we'll go ahead and click on edit quiz. So this is where we are going to add questions. There are several ways of adding questions to a quiz. We are going to try two of them. So with the first one, we can click on this. We can choose a new question. That is, we will have to type each question and each possible answers into text boxes in order to send the questions. So we're going to try the first one to see how it looks like. So with this one, we can select whether our questions are multiple choice, true or false, short answers, it's a numerical question, calculated one, essay question, a matching, random short answer matching, embedded answer, uh, calculated multiple choice we have so many options but for our tutorial we're going to choose multiple choice we'll be making more tutorials on the other options so after selecting multiple choice we'll come back and click add so with this we have the question name that's where we put the question number and then our question will appear here the default mark for the question is one then the general feedback for the question and then whether we want one or multiple answers we can choose from here so multiple answers allowed only one answer allowed here so we're going to choose one answer only and then we can also choose to shuffle the choices we can shuffle the choices that is if in one student the answer was a in another student the answer is going to be b c or something else and then the number of choices to we can select whether we want to make it roman numerals or numbers or alphabets or letters any any of them and then we are going to put the choices that is option a option b option c option d we put them one by one and then we put the grade for each and then we put feedback so imagine we are having about 40 questions it means we will do all this for one question and do all this for the other question 40 times that's a lot of work but we are going to look at how to simplify things and make things easier for us so for this one is when we want to input some specific questions or add some specific uh, or add some specific questions to our question so we are going to leave this and look at a more simpler way of adding questions to our quiz So we are going to move back into our quiz and then we will scroll down to question bank with this question bank we can import all our question into the question bank and store it over there and pick questions from there to add to our quiz so we are going to look at how to format our questions for it to be accepted when importing into the question bank so we will first have to type our questions in a word document like this we can eliminate the numbers we type the question and put the possible answers we have to type the letters in caps 
so it's going to be capital a b c and then the answer to the question two we will type answer all in caps and we put the answer the right answer for the question under it so just like how i've formatted my question is the same way we are going to format ours for us to import it into the question bank so we are going to remember the question the possible answers the options should be in caps a b c then we write answer then the right answer will be written here so this is going to serve as our question and at the same time our marking scheme so we fix everything like this then after typing everything and formatting it like this we are going to go ahead and save it so we will save us we will save us then we will choose where we want to save it and in saving it the save as type we are going to choose plain text so we will expand this and choose plain text after selecting plain text we will click on save it will bring a file conversion dialog box this is where we are going to convert our file for it to be accepted by the question bank so we are going to choose other encoding other encoding and then we will come over here and look for unicode utf8 this is unicode utf8 then we click on ok let's go and see how our file looks like this is the file that we saved this is how it looks like so we saved it in test format okay so now we're going to go ahead and open our question bank we can create categories of which we can import our questions to so in this we are going to go ahead and create a category so we give it a category name so i'm going to name my category and then category info we can put any info here after typing our category info then we click on add category so it means that we are going to import our question into this particular category so we have our category created here and then the info or the summary is down here now we're going to go ahead and scroll down into the administration block and the quiz administration we're going to look at import so we will have to expand the question bank to see it so import and then with the multiple choice questions the format we have to choose is akin format so we we'll select akin format and then we scroll down and come and expand general In general, we can specify the category that we want to import the question into. So we are going to choose the category we just created, MCQ for Demo 111. That's the category we just created. So we choose that one and then we uncheck this. We uncheck this because we've selected the category over here. And then this one is saying um, match grades error if grid not listed so if the grid is not listed it should flag an error it shouldn't allow you to complete the upload or importing process and then when there's an error to you can make it stop stop the import so it's good to select yes so that when there's error during the importation it can stop so that you can correct everything 
So we continue by choosing the file. The maximum size for the file should be 50 megabytes. Anything above 50 wouldn't allow us to import. So we choose the file. Then we'll click on upload the file. Then with attachment, we'll choose the file. Then we we'll locate where our file, our test file, the one we formatted, we we'll locate it and select it. Then we can give it a name. Then we click on upload this file. Now we have our file uploaded into this box here. Now we have our file uploaded. We are going to go ahead and click on import. Our import was successful. It says importing four questions from file. Everything went well. If there's an error, this highlighted green will be red. Since everything is green, it means everything went on or uh, went through successful. Now we click on continue. This is the questions we imported. So this means that we are done with importing our questions into the question bank.